uh, the real thing. I've got a 5.5C kilowatt system um, with an inverter and a, inverter and a monitor, which is a thousand dollar option, but I, think I justified it partly because I wanted to be able to see what I was generating on my phone and my computer, and partly because I figured it might help me find any anomalies in the system if there were a problem. That was an extra thousand dollars. But upfront costs, and, and I want to show you exact numbers based on my experience, 34,000 bucks and change, State tax credit was 10.5. Now, the state tax credit was refund. I did this in 2010, in April. And one of my motivating factors was the fact that I knew the state tax credit money was going away. They put $2.5 million in the pot to start with, first come, first serve. And I literally got my paperwork approved for people before they ran out of money. So timing is everything on this. They've, already, they've refunded this. They put $5 million in the pot the second time last year. That money's already gone. It's funded through 2014, but the money's all gone. So hopefully, in this next legislative session, this is something we need to talk about with our local delegations: is let's put some money back into that pot and let's double it again and make it 10 million bucks this time. Um, so state tax credit maxed out at 10.5. I actually would have gotten a little more than that. Federal credit is 30 percent. It's funded through 2016, Lord willing, and there is no cap on that for either residents or businesses. So my my. Rebate there was a little over 10,000 too. So my net cost for a $34,000 system was 13,000 each year, which came out to $2.42 a watt. And if you want to compare apples to apples, look at your cost per watt or your cost per kilowatt. That will give you a real number that you can compare any system, any manufacturer, any installer, um, and know exactly what you're getting for, what you're spending. Also look at the efficiency level of your panels. My, my solar work panels are American made and only time on. Um, they're about 18% efficient, and the efficiency ratings, depending on whether you're doing film or different, their jet star, who's the Sultan of Solar, is here. He's probably got more technical knowledge of the latest developments in solar stuff than anybody else in the world. Um, there are things changing every day. Efficiency levels have gone up in tests to almost 40% if they're not on the market yet. I think the average is still in the 18 to 22% efficiency range for photovoltaic. Um, but there again, it will pay these back pretty quickly. 